people of Daraya carry the bodies of protesters killed by security forces through the streets. The church bells toll in solidarity as the crowd performs the Muslim funeral rites. Meanwhile, in the town of Al Herak in Dara province, the Syrian army advances as bystanders keep a safe distance. This is a video uploaded on the internet by a Syrian opposition news service. Because of strict reporting restrictions in the country, Al Jazeera has no way of independently verifying the images. The sight of the army on the streets is evidence, human rights groups say, that the country's emergency laws were only lifted on paper. It's clearly what the, uh, that Bashar al-Assad is not a reformer. Now it's a, the image is clear for the whole world. They trying their best to crush this movement, to crush this uprising in much violence way they can. As opposition to his 11-year rule grows, President Bashar al-Assad announced last week a series of political concessions. But for Syria's disaffected, the list is long. They want an end to corruption, political freedom and an end to the Assad political dynasty. The response since the unrest began five weeks ago has been the same, with an iron fist. President Assad has blamed what he called a foreign conspiracy for the unrest and claimed the deaths were the result of sectarian conflict inside Syria. Human rights groups estimate that at least 300 people have been killed by security forces and gunmen loyal to Assad since March. They want an independent commission to investigate the deaths. The International Commission of Jurists added its voice on Sunday, saying the matter should be referred to the International Criminal Court. The Syrian security forces have not made exceptions for funerals. Over the last two days, protesters have been gunned down as they joined in the rites of mourning, a cycle that's likely to continue. Khadija Magadi, Al Jazeera.